All right, it is Sunday, April 17th, 2022. We're doing the coolant. And this is the coolant I always use. It's just a press tone, it's all vehicles. It works with everything. I wouldn't use it in a diesel, but that's just me. Now the key point is that you have to do a 50-50 mix on the concentrated stuff and always use distilled water or deionized water. Do not use tap water. I repeat, do not use tap water. It has minerals in it. Cooling systems do not like minerals. It precipitates out and causes all sorts of trouble. So we're doing the RX-8, which once again is a beautiful car. And doing an RX-8 is pretty straightforward. Get a little light over here. And why I say straightforward is that right here, there's a hole and this little plug comes out. Little Phillips screwdriver, bada boom, bada bing, and it drains right out. Now the cap on the top side of the car has been uh, removed, so it drains out real easily. I'm collecting it in a bucket. Now, I, like with every fluid, you never get all the fluid out. It doesn't happen. There's no such idea as getting 100%. My approach to life is try to get as much out so that you can renew the components of the antifreeze that keep it viable. There's all sorts of chemicals in antifreeze which get consumed over time. So that's my goal today. Already drained the fluid out, collected it in a bucket. Remember, as you all know, antifreeze is poisonous to animals. They like it. Dispose of it carefully. Don't mix it with your oil. Even though I'm using the oil stand, I use it just to elevate the bucket so that it's easy and I don't splash it all around. So antifreeze, toxic, be careful with it. Dispose of it correctly, like you would all the fluids out of a vehicle or fluids in general. So we're looking at that. Um, I will fill it soon. I did a quick inspection of the underside of the car. It looks great as usual. Realize this is a rust-free example. And we'll go from there. See you in a bit. All right, filling the coolant, you can do it a lot of ways. I prefer using this funnel. You can pour it directly into the reservoir, but then you have to stand there and watch it because as the engine runs, it starts to burp out the air. And this little device, the spill-proof funnel kit, by, oh, what name, what's the name of that company? Whatever. There's a lot of people that make these things. Uh, they're very nice. They're great in terms of having a little uh, device that slips down into the center. I'll assemble this for you. So when you're done, you can put it in here, take the coolant that you haven't used, and put it back in your bottle. So it comes with these little adapters. This is the green machine. You see how this fits down there and has a nice seal. The event fit the cap over it. Let's see if I get it to tighten down. Yeah, it tightens down. And then you put it in like that. And the idea is that you want this to be higher than any other air source that could be in the engine. Because obviously you've drained the coolant out. This was open. It's entrained. It's brought air into the system. And the last thing you want is to get an air bubble stuck in a cooling system. It's not a good thing. Now, for what it's worth, that Audi over there doesn't understand the rules. Being a German car, it has all sorts of techniques. And I've done a video on doing the Audi. But just don't assume that every car you do is going to be as easy as this. Many cars are. Some cars have a peculiar sequence for removing coolant, especially a supercharged Audi A8. So we've got the pre-mixed coolant. Here it is. It's 50-50. I used uh, distilled water. And we'll just... Yummy, 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 yummy. Yeah, I really need to get a, something to hold the camera. So just filling it up. Filling it up. This is universal coolant. The technology has gotten to the point now where it works really well. You can see, hopefully, you can see the air bubbling back out of the system. Yeah. You can see that air coming out. It's not leaking. It looks good. 
And so as the water goes in, or the coolant goes in, or the antifreeze goes in, it's coolant in the south and it's antifreeze in the north, uh, it displaces the air which comes bubbling out this top. And that's exactly what we expect. When I did my first coolant, uh, I was always a nervous Nelly, blah, 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 blah. And I think that's true of anything you do. First time you do it, it's kind of like you're nervous. As always with everything on my cars, I over service it. It's easier, as like I always say, to exchange the coolant, put new coolant in a year before it's needed, as opposed to trying to save $8 on coolant and then wonder why your cooling system has failed. You need a new radiator, a new pump for new hoses, or new thermostat because you cheaped out. So we're a gallon in. I'm going to have to mix some more, but I'll sh come back when the engine's running.